Emotional moments today as a group of Kern County residents officially became U.S. citizens. 17 Cecilia Trevino joins us in studio now to tell you about this momentous ceremony that took place in Keene. Cecilia. That's right, at the Cesar E. Chavez National Monument, they welcomed dozens for this morning, a naturalization ceremony, a moment these families have been waiting for for years. Emotions are running high on this special day. We were very happy right now since uh, this is also our wedding anniversary, so it's our 21st anniversary. The Doctoleros are from the Philippines and today they are not only celebrating their love, but being able to call themselves U.S. Nationals. We've been here for six years, so it's been quite happy for us, uh, quite good that we're still together until now. Alongside 30 more people, they enjoyed their naturalization ceremony at the symbolic site of the Cesar E. Chavez National Monument. The place where, where the, the, the fighting for people's rights, uh, respect, uh, uh, especially with Latinos started. He said, ordinary people can do extraordinary things. And today, we had representative over nine nations who took the oath of office to become the latest U.S. United States citizens. They're holding back tears, and those are tears of emotion. We, I can only imagine some of the, their, 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 their story about coming to this country, why they came here, how did they get to be, uh, become citizens. Although it can seem like a tedious or long process, the Dr. Leros hope this inspires anyone to start or continue with their citizenship journey. Take it easy, don't be nervous. Uh, if your papers are all uh, intact, then you're good to go. Now I have to admit, my naturalization was not even close to being as beautiful as this one. It was just through a window inside a small office in Texas. But I still share the sentiment and emotion of these amazing ceremonies every time. In studio, Cecilia Trevino, 17 News.